Welcome to The Crafty View. I'm Diane Williams, the host for the show. And today, I just love coming out here at the Craftsman's Guild. And there's a couple of new people out here that I think we should all meet and find out what they do, how they do it, and why they love it so much. Ready? I'm here with Miss Joy Ellis, and she's going to tell us all about what she does. She's a member of the Craftsman's Guild. How long have you been a member of the guild? Just a year. Oh, so you're a fairly new member, but how long have you been doing this wonderful art that you're going to talk well, about? about five years. I kind of took it up after I retired. So, oh, nice. I do with my time now. Okay, tell me about this piece right here. Okay, those are zinnias. And actually, uh, some of those zinnias came from the ones on the Highway 51 over here in Ridgeland where they do the big patch of zinnias. And they'll last forever in there? Well, yeah. It's like a painting in behind glass. Look how authentic it looks. It is authentic. It's real. Yeah. And she's maintained the integrity of the colors and shadings on the flowers. The thing about these is you have to be sure you don't have them in uh, sunlight and UV rays that uh, fade them just like they do watercolors. And so you have to just be sure when you place them in your home that you place them on a wall that's not going to get the full sun and all. So. Okay, because the sun will bleach them out. It will, just like a watercolor. Okay. All right. And what's your favorite flowers? All of them. Okay. <laughs> I don't have really a favorite. Oh, these are coasters. Right, you know, for somebody just to put on your desk to put your coffee cup on. Nice. And how did you come up with the idea of this uh, plexiglass to put them in? Where did you find that? I ordered those off of the internet, just around pieces, and then put the I do the uh, flowers on one side, and then I put the other one on and then we put this uh, metal tape around the edges which seals it that's in. what seals it in uh, and then I put the little tabs on the bottom i think that's a terrific idea nice, nice little christmas gifts or birthday oh babies. yes like these are kind of christmasy looking but um, they are you know. very unique i like the um is that the, all of that's the flower? No, that's uh, rose petals, and then that's uh, dianthus, the, the prickly stuff. And then it's got the little white, uh, these little white flowers on it. I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah. Those blooms. Oh, these oh flowers. they're so cute. And this one here, you're, you're very artistic in placing your designs. <laughs> Thank you. When I look at this one, and then you just scattered a few little, um, what do you call that, what's in the center? You put that around, is that right? No, that's, that's the center uh -huh. of the rose itself. The little things around the edge is with that diamond frost that you put in your flower pots, you know, to fill her, it's a little filler in your... Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one up here, those came out of my yard. We're getting the glare, but we can Thank still, you. okay, I'm moving back. I can see it a lot better this way. So these were grown in your yard. Yeah, these, these two, it's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. um, but placed differently. You have fine. a lot of fun I in do. laying out I and do. framing, <laughs> finding just the right books frame. Books and books of flowers and just kind of go through. Uh, it's just, you know, and this frame, this is interesting it type is, of it's frame. It is, it's different, isn't it? What is that? What is I just picked it up at the store and it was it was different and so I just these are real popular, the ones that are glass. Uh -huh. um, they're kinda hard to do because you have to be sure they're flat because it goes between two pieces of glass. Yes. And um, so you have to be a little flat for them. I'm just so enamored with this idea of how these especially these two creative pieces and the coasters, and then what you're doing in the in the, those wooden frames, they stand up on their own. And they're nice to put up on a, a shelf, or I have one in my, I put in my kitchen window. My 
kitchen window that looks out on my carport so I don't get any sun. Mm -hmm. So it's just right over my sink and I just, it just makes me happy in the morning when I see them. Just fabulous, yes. And so just a few years ago, you started doing this. Right. What was involved in your trial and error? Did it, um, are there some flowers that don't work? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's, there's some that are too, uh, have too much moisture in them, and they just kind of go to mush when you try to When you try to work it, with but, them. Uh -huh. I actually started, did a program for the garden club and kind of got me back into it. I had pressed some before, but not really put them into frames or anything. So talk about what you're saying to me. You said you've pressed some. Right. These are all pressed. There are several different ways you can press. There's the uh, traditional wooden presses, and my husband helped me make one of those, and I used that song. But now they've come out with microwave presses that are so much faster. Now, what does the pressing do? I kind of know, but... Well, you put, uh, you put uh, some assortment paper or towels or... Uh, I have a mat that's put on there. And then they place the flowers. Then you put the mat nut, the absorbent stuff again. And then I have the outsides and you have clips that press it. This is in the microwave. Okay. Really, really tight. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Take it out. Some of them already be dry. And some of them you might have to put in a few more times. But um, it's, uh, you know, we have to have in instant stuff now. When you put them in the wooden presses, that takes a long, long time. It can take up to a month, a month to dry some of them. That oh, my goodness. So you have flowers all over. Yeah, yeah. Do you have certain places you like to go to where you know, uh, like your go-to places for finding flowers outside of your own garden? Uh, I, have, I like to go along the wood, on the, like, traveling on a back road and I've gotten the Queen Anne's Lace oh. that's so pretty just growing on the side of the road and some little um, some other little flowers I don't even know what they're called but I use for filler you know sometimes mm -hmm. and I say let's just go ride and see what we can see you know how do you determine whether you want a white background or a black background I both look so oh. nice it's just choices it's just, you make? Yeah, we, you can just, I lay the paper down, and, like the black, and then see what looks good on that. Okay, so you audition it. Yeah, and this is, uh, I made some handmade paper. Oh, I love that, and, uh, yes. I've done, I've used up most of that, I'm gonna have to make some more, but mm -hmm. uh, use that as the back paper. I love that, I do that in my work as well. See, these I got just out of the, you know, out in the woods. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Thank you so much. How would yeah. someone get in touch with you, Joy? Uh, Do you have a card or anything? And if you would lay it here, I will just show the audience. So if you wanted to get in touch with Joy, that's her phone number and email address. Also, her work is in the Craftsman Skill. It is. So you can come here to 950 Rice Road in Ridgeland, and they have some of her work here. This is just picture perfect. Look at that. So what would you call, what do you call yourself? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> says, oh, you're an artist. What do you do? And you would say. Press flower artist. Press flower artist. All right. This is just like Look perfect. It could be on the cover of a book. You know that? That one looks kind of old. old yeah, it has that old like look. That yeah, I love it. Well, thank you so very much. I've enjoyed looking thank at your you. work, and I know Appreciate others have that. as well.